that's you know one of the subjects that we're beginning with mm. as we look at your contribution. Ralph is saying, I never knew there had been any subsidy of electricity mm -hmm. and we still pay so much for so little service delivery. How often do people get to use electricity in a month despite huge amounts of bills being paid? Where had been the subsidy, please? Okay. Well, <laughs> Jeff, do you have an answer to that question? I don't know. The minister has to answer. I think we would like to have that conversation with the minister to maybe break it down for us, mm -hmm. all of these things, because uh, we're dealing with the issue of removal of fuel subsidies uh, on one hand, and then the proposal for removal of electricity subsidy. Uh, some yeah, Nigerians say they never knew that it was subsidized. Now you know it's been subsidized. But people will wonder if you add removal of electricity subsidy to the one we're staggering around, like literally the country is trying to get its way around the removal of fear subsidy, what then happens? That's why we're taking your thought, uh, so that those in authority will listen. This is from Decent. It says, no wonder light has not been stable these days. Well, that's uh, his Jeffrey, own just like those, those huge subsidy sums, mm. you know, government says it's still owing gas companies to the tune of, tr in fact, in one, one case, $1.3 trillion. I had to look at the figure again. Yeah, it is. You know, to be sure that it was, is it Naira? or it dollars. Is. So what happens to the new regime? Should the power uh, companies be unbundled? Who inherits the debts? Would it be the state so, government? Some have argued that, I've been issued from the very beginning, there were some structural issues there were not put in place to be able Before to the make more, yes to make this work uh, for the people that are, that are invested like the discos I think the 12 of them and all of that so well the experts will be able to explain that those are the questions for the experts to explain to absolutely us. what were the failures at the initial point that uh, we seem to be failing despite whatever initiative uh, is being brought to the table this is coming from Chim Nedum uh, no fuel subsidy no electricity subsidy no education subsidy what exactly are we enjoying as Nigerians? Big question. Big questions. Yes. Okay, we'll put that through to Mr. President. This one is from Prudence for a reason. And they say, around here, we're already paying very high fees for electricity reload. I think by this time next year, an average worker who earns the minimum wage wouldn't be able to afford anything in this country anymore. And <sighs> that may not be far from the truth. We're close to that point, actually. We're actually close to that point. Very disposable close. income is, um, I don't know what that is disposable. <laughs> like, everything comes and goes right now for a lot of people. Upcoming billionaire, I like your mission, by the way. Uh, subsidy or no subsidy, please, they should reduce the price of fuel. Heat is too much, as, as the way we call it, NEPA. NEPA is our discourse now. No one give us light. At least we can be able to buy fuel. Uh, sad. This one is from Ayodeji Kayode, and he says, just wondering what exactly is the value the government is providing. This mm. is getting just too much. A lot of uh, belly yeah. aching there. So, so much lamentation and complaints. Uh, Jude says, it's already expensive now. How much more when the subsidy is off? Just like petrol, the country would become very toxic to live in. Mm. We hope not. We hope not. We yeah. certainly hope not. We just have to keep our hopes up. We just have to be upbeat about things, optimistic that, you know, we'll turn a corner very soon. Uh, this is from Dimola Emmanuel Osho, and he says, I hope, I never knew there had been any subsidy of electricity, and mm -hmm. we still pay mm -hmm. so much for so little service delivery. How often do people get to use electricity in a month, despite huge amounts of bills being paid, where had been the subsidy? I, I, I guess we've taken this before. Yeah, I think yeah. it's just a... So, at the end of the day, uh, people are actually complaining about the subsidy, proposed subsidy removal uh, in the sector. I'm talking about the electricity uh, power sector now. I know that the average is about, um, I think about, uh, I'll get the figures, but in terms of kilowatts that you pay for units and all of that, to be able to uh, get electricity. That's why initially when they started distributing all of these things, uh, when you say you reach out 10,000, you know the number of units you get, but now if you do 10,000, you know it's a lesser number of units. Mm -hmm. So all of that is coming up. So people are wondering if you now increase it, how much are we going to be paying well, for it? So let's move on to other issues that you've been talking about uh, on X, which has to do with the protest in Delta State. You know, we saw this protest about people talking about I think police, police brutality, brutality and yeah. all of that. And it's a bit of a deja vu because the whole NSAS thing actually started
from Delta State with incidents like this. So, yes, this person, Mudiaga Esiakwe, says, are these things still happening even after all the reforms in the police? Big question. Big question. Another big question. Uh, this one is from Oyeni Samuel, and uh, he says, different story every day. Let's take things easy now. Good counsel there. Alton says, in 2024, we're still talking about matters like this. When will things be okay at this rate? Mm. Still talking about the uh, alleged police brutality that um, sparked this particular protest in Delta State. Bukola. Uh, this one is from Onise, and uh, they say they should also look for ways to curb this hardship. God is your people's strength. I'm still wondering what they eat that gives them that energy in this hot sun again. We need a reform of Nigeria, not police brutality and hunger. Absolutely. Itu says, I don't support vandalism or violence protests or violent protests, but there's a limit at which people can endure. With the kind of hardship people are facing, coupled with the treatment people are getting from the force, it may trigger such action in the long run. Well, we, 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 we sincerely hope not. We sincerely this hope not, that. I, I yeah. just said that uh, we remember what happened with the NSAS. It was a legitimate protest by the people uh, that at some point hijacked, uh, according to the government and all of that. So uh, no matter what we do, Bukola used the word, keeping the civic space safe. Yeah. We must engage critically, uh, no matter how, uh, how bad we feel. Uh, so we do not support violence in any form, shape or shape. So as much as possible, protest is allowed according to law. The law allows people to protest as long as they want to protest. But violence um, can lead to anarchy, which is why there shouldn't be any support for violence. We must continue to do it. And everybody involved must take responsibility, the police and all of that. And they must take responsibility to put themselves in check so that all of this doesn't escalate beyond what the states can manage. And um, indeed, if reforms have been ongoing, particularly under the current regime of uh, the Inspector General of Police, these reforms must reflect in, in you know, the welfare and in the outlook of the police force in terms of infrastructure development mm. and in terms of what they're taking home. Uh, we know that conversations are already ongoing about uh, increased, improved remuneration yeah. for the police force. It's absolutely abysmal yeah. to hear that how much. If you know how much a, an average, well, I think the lowest rank is constable. Yeah. I think we asked the, the former is CP also, one, one of, the, uh, I think last week or earlier this week, and he gave us a figure <laughs> within, is it 30 to 50,000? I can't, we can't confirm that, but that's, that's the man who served as a commissioner. So, of course, you take it as uh, something uh, from the authority. And if that's how much a man who has a gun in his hands earns and you expect him to put his life on the line for you, then I think we need to do something urgently. Uh, 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 urgently is the key word here. This one is from Damuchi, and they say, tell the government to be paying the police. Some police have not received salary for over eight months now. That's why all these are happening. Uh, well, we can't immediately we can't, verify that. We can't that. verify that. I, I, did, I know that one of these, I was driving down one day, and one of the policemen tell, told me, he knows I, I work with a media organization, I said, tell them now, our pensions, let them sign it. Well, I said, I will find out. So maybe this is an opportunity for the police authorities, uh, police service commission. This. So all of these um, uh, allegations or complaints about either salaries not being paid or pensions not being signed, please, would like a response for, from you so that we put the facts right. This is coming from City Boy. He says, it is time for us, you, to stand up nationwide and fight again. No, we will not support violence. If that's what you mean, that is not supported. But this, but this time not just for police brutality, let's fight against bad governance and the country's poor economy. We agree you should fight, but within the civic uh, space as allowed by democracy, not in any form of violence. So please, whatever you do, let's not um, go the line of uh, taking up arms against the state or anyone else, because that is going to escalate the issue 
even further and make it worse. But you can continue with the productive engagement online exactly. by airing your views and all of the handles of government agencies are online as well. So let's keep tagging uh, by you know, engaging in constructive criticisms rather than violence. So we'll be back to take more of your comments, but we'll begin to unfold what we have for you this morning in just a moment. So stay with us. We'll be right back.